Hey, it's Shandy, and today I'm gonna to show you some patterns you can make with lace weight yarn. Hi, it's Shandy from ExpressionFiberArts.com. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to have you here today because if you watched my previous videos, I showed you a brief overview of what the different yarn weights are, lace weight, sport weight, DK weight, worsted weight, etc. explaining what that means, and another video showing you how to look at patterns for specific yarns that you love. Continuing on that theme, we're going to do a series of videos explaining each yarn weight in detail, and today is all about lace weight. So let's get right into that. Lace weight yarn is not referencing the heaviness of the yarn, like if you were to put it on a scale and weigh it. It's referencing the thickness or thinness of the yarn. And lace weight is very thin yarn, which also means typically you're gonna get a lot of yardage in your skein of yarn. You can have different types of lace weight yarn. There are all different fiber blends, like plant fibers, cotton, linen, for example, animal-based fibers like wool or silk, or any kind of blend of different types of fibers. Another thing, too, is the number of plies. Typically in lace weight, you're gonna have single ply or double ply, and that's just referencing the number of strands that are twisted together to make up the actual strand of yarn. Single ply is one, and double ply means two, of course. Personally, what I love about lace weight is the drape that you can get from it. So here's a concept to consider, which I admit was a little weird when I first heard it. When you're knitting or crocheting, you're actually producing fabric. You're just doing it one stitch at a time. So if you think of it that way, when you use a thin yarn like lace weight, the fabric that you produce is so wearable, it's puddly, it's drapey, it's soft, and I really, really love that. So when you're making a shawl, like a wedding shawl, or just something for you, or a scarf, say a tank or a tee or a sweater with lace weight, you're gonna get the most wearable, drapey, it's just gonna flow and be so elegant. I wanted to show you specifically today a lace weight yarn that I carry in my shop. This is my Yak Silk Lace Yarn that I chose specifically because of the gorgeous drape. So this is a blend of yak down, which is the softest of yak fibers, and silk. So yak down is, it's very soft, it's very, very warm, it's very insulating, and it's hypoallergenic, a very breathable fabric, which is wonderful. And the silk has a gorgeous glow, a lovely gleam to it. It's a very strong fiber, so your projects will last a long time. And it really soaks up the dye beautifully, so it just makes some gorgeous hand-dyed yarn. And when you combine the yak down with the silk in this specific lace weight blend, your projects are just gonna be so professional. They're gonna have a beautiful wearable drape that's really hard to beat. And that's why I chose this specific type of lace weight. I wanted to show you some specific patterns today made using the Yak Silk Lace yarn to give you a better idea of what that looks like worked up and the, the soft drape that it produces. So this is a crochet pattern that I designed. It's a lovely shawl or a capelet that you wrap around your shoulders. And I designed it with a very open stitch pattern. And since I used the Yak Silk Lace yarn, you can see it just flows and swings and it has just a soft, puddliness, I like to say. It's just almost airy and nearly weightless feeling because of that lace weight yarn. Next up, I have this cute little shawl. Now this one is different because I actually held the Yak Silk Lace quadruple. So I held four strands together throughout the project to produce a little bit stiffer, thicker fabric. You can see the fabric it produced, it's a little bit stiffer. It's not as drapey as the single held yarn in the previous project, but even so, it still has a nice drape. So that's definitely something you can consider is holding your yarn double, triple, quadruple, and you can create different kinds of fabrics and looks when you do that. Next up is a knitted pattern using the yarn held single. 
So this is a beautiful, super long scarf that has these lovely lacy panels interspersed with these stockinette stitch sections. And this really showcases how much you can make with this yarn since you have so much yardage. So you can see how long this one is. This was actually three different colors, but you can make so much with just one or two or three skeins of this yarn. And look at that drape. Look how it is just, like I almost can't even feel that. It's so drapey and puddly. Oh, it's just gorgeous. So that's a, a beautiful long scarf that was knitted using the Yak Silk Lace yarn. This pattern is so stunning. It is a beautiful, beautiful open lacy stitch pattern with this lovely design on the bottom. This is a big rectangular shawl. And I love this because you can wear it as a shawl since it is so drapey. You can also scrunch it up if you're not in the mood for a shawl and you can wear it more like a scarf. Since it is that lace weight yarn, it really just condenses. This is also wonderful for a travel scarf to take on an airplane or on a road trip, that type of thing. And I did wanna let you know that this pattern and the previous one were designed by Emily Walton for us. And again, I'm gonna put all the links below for details on all of these patterns. But you can just see how gorgeous and elegant that is. And this one did use the yarn held single like the previous one and the shine too. I don't know if you can see it. It just has this lovely glow when the light hits it due to the silk and the softness, super, super soft. I hope this video helped you learn different things that you can make with lace weight yarn and that encourages you to go out and try that and see what gorgeous things you can produce. If you did like this video, please go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up. That really helps us out. And definitely comment below if you have ideas for any future videos that you wanna see from us and we will try to make that happen for you. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and smush that notification bell so you don't miss out on future episodes. And the absolute best way to stay in touch with me is via email newsletter. So go ahead and sign up at expressionfiberarts.com and I will let you know when we have product releases, new free patterns, coupon codes, news about our big monthly yarn giveaways, and a whole lot more. Now, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to sit here with me and talk about yarn. I really hope that it inspired you. Please go ahead today and find some time to knit or crochet or do something that brings joy to your heart because that's what it's truly all about and that's what we hope to inspire. Have a wonderful, wonderful day and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>